peace, power, and soul. Welcome back to the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus, our nuclear leader of UNONC. Again, this is the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus, our nuclear leader of UNONC. One more time for the ones that can't hear us in the background. This is the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus, our nuclear leader of UNONC. Welcome back, activated ones. Welcome back, activated man. Welcome back, activated woman. Today's date is Tuesday, May 4th, 1015 a.m. 2021. Today's topic is the regulators of quantum solar algorithms. Again, regulators of quantum solar algorithms. One more time for the ones that can't hear this. Regulators of quantum solar algorithms. Moving along, welcome back, activated man. Welcome back, activated woman. What is meant by regulators of quantum solar algorithms? Well, I've always mentioned that we are these receivers and transmitters, real-time receivers and transmitters of the future, where we're these loudspeakers, these um, alarm clocks, these warning systems for a lot of you all and for a lot of our people to get in alignment to, you know, so we could activate them. We activate them by these messages, by these podcasts, by these broadcasts. But we're, you know, in alignment or we are these conduits uh, for intel. The intel comes down to us and we grab it. Our mind feels grab it. Regulators mean we're regulating a lot of this, um, you know, solar intel. A lot of the energy is coming down here as mediators, as these cosmic next level futuristic mediators of the energies we are filtering and again being able to pull in and filter in a lot of the frequencies coming down here to the planet we're, we're regulating the flow of energy of solar intel 1011 here on this planet all of this quantum energy you know all of the visible light spectrum to invisible light spectrum that's, that's coming down here is all nothing but intelligence light codes, bright codes that are coming down here that are feeding our minds, feeding our souls and extending us physically within our bodies because of our constantly evolving DEA. Like I spoke about in the last podcast, you know, our DEA is different from the DNA. We have 10 missing strands of or 10 strands of DEA that we have yet to use that we're beginning to use now. That we're tapping into now because of our connection and our alignment with the direct current, the solar Intel 1011 coming down here. Our constant communication of the parallel one on one, I mean, the uh, parallel, uh, yeah, parallel one on one. Our higher selves being able to communicate with our extended, you no, know, our higher selves being able to transmit these uh, light codes and bright codes, these Intel codes back down to ourselves in the third dimension. So uh, when it comes to, uh, again, these solar algorithms coming down here, they're only just instructions to develop the planet, to grow the minerals, these algorithms or these um, codes, these codes uh, are being sent down here to grow the plants, grow the minerals, extend the all forms of life here on the surface and within the inside of the planet. So on the surface and within the planet are, you know, are where all of this, um, you know, constant uh, forward evolution or this constant forward movement and development is taking place. You know, a lot of the uh, evolution will take place, you know, within um, the planet more so because you got the heat basically expanding the inside or the core expanding the inside of the planet and then on the outside you have the sun which our regular sun is expanding the surface the outside surface so you have uh expanding heat and expanding pressures from you know inside and above outside so as above so below on on all levels when it comes to us being able to regulate the different forms of intel because there's intel that's also coming from inside the core of the planet. But if you're tapped into the inter and our networking suns, then it's like, you know, you're you're really in alignment with 
or you're pretty much up to date or you know in connection with um the direct current or this power that drives solar systems forward that drives you know the universe forward and the omniverse forward this continuous connection of uh, many many um stars and, and different um soul solar force or solar intel that that lies um within this space and beyond this space and place and time we ask these regulators of quantum solar algorithms um puts us ahead or puts us you know in the forefront to step into the future because we're receiving these uh, images and glimpses of the future due to clairvoyance. Again, I mentioned clairvoyance quite some time ago, but these pictures are on clairvoyance is only going to get more and more real. Our, our clairvoyance is only going to be um, get stronger and stronger because of the level of energy that is being put down into the atmosphere. The solar, uh, you know, the solar Intel 1011 coming down here this tons and tons of radiation being um, dispersed down to the planet within the atmosphere is what is driving um you know driving us forward and it is what is extending uh, us to be able to get to the fourth dimension to basically have this protection around us because again you know we're not being affected by things of the past if we are future people then we're not getting involved with the with this physical uh you no know, with the physical things down here in the third dimension you know all of these uh you know, low vibrational things uh that don't have anything to do with our extension into the future you know it all it has to do with you know these primitive things primitive thoughts that's why we are open our minds and bodies our souls are open to transmission only you know we're not really focused on you know sports all these things that will stop uh, us from being able being able to regulate this solar intel 1011 down here from being able to strengthen our connection with our highest selves set outside of these earthly dimensions that's why we continue to be regulators of quantum solar algorithms because you know that's the only thing that that is the only way that we can tap into um, this energy that is the only way that we can tap into um, you know our future is based on um, you know this continuous connection this continuous connection with um, you know the future being able to see the future being able to tap being able to tap into um you know these uh the actual direct current that is coming down here that is feeding us um you know this constant um constant image of the utopia that is supposed to have already been created here but you know as of the circumstances that that's taken place in the last uh you know centuries and years beyond I me mean, prior to this moment right now you know we are in alignment now because we have you know opened ourselves up even more we're not limiting our evolution based on history because history is you know what what you would consider a algorithm that is caught down here in the third dimension history is what you know people go off of when it comes to trying to extend in the future which is you know yeah you learn from your past or you learn from your past by doing better in the future and that's why we are that's why we are still staying strong that's why we are still continuously um you know having you know this intel being fed to us because you know we're not switching up we're not we're not trying to do do anything else besides grow within community as a collective as a collective of regulators of quantum solar algorithms we will move forward outside of the third dimension we're not going to be limited by uh you know all of these things uh that the people are being you know limited by people places possessions you know where they talk about the seven deadly sins, you know, people, again, 
low vibrational things, concepts and ideas that have nothing to do with the future. That isn't about, you know, unity, this nuclear family that we are trying to um, trying to bring forth or, or manifest in this third dimension, which we have manifested in the second dimension to get us to third dimension. But we're trying to, again, um, you know, extend. It's all about extension of the mind, body, and soul of Intel, because Intel is constantly being extended, constantly being um which you say, yeah, constantly being extended is growing. What was said five years ago won't be the same, you know, now because that was five years ago. Things things are constantly, um, you know, evolving for the greater good within our people, within UNONC, within these vegetarians, within, you know, all of us coming together and, again, driving this planet in the direct, in the right direction. As far as development, growth, you know, all forms of all forms of evolution here on this planet. And that's why we're in the forefront now to be in the seat of power. People, people are telling us to, you know, get off of our seats, you know, stop hijacking this, and stop doing that. Because, again, they're they're afraid that they cannot regulate this intel. They cannot tap into this intel. They cannot extend their minds bodies and souls with this intel because they can't use it because a it's not for them and b it's for you know it's for a you know a purpose you know this is really really necessary for us to keep tapping into because without the intel guiding us forward then we are stuck in religion we are stuck listening to you know pastors tell us about you know the divine and you know divine this you know divine inter um whatever the word is divine um divine intervention with a you know mystical person or a, a mystical spirit no we're, we're beyond that regulating the frequencies of vibrations on the planet taking in all this plasmatic energy through the atmosphere you know down on the surface and more regulators of Again, quantum solar algorithms. We're tapped into the quanta, the many uh, quantas of solar intel that come down here in the forms of light spectrums, in the forms of rainbows, the multiple quanta, the multiple uh, energy, pockets of energies that, again, feed the universe, that feed the, the solar systems, that feed, you know, all that we know lie above and beyond us everything that is uh, structured here law and order you know all of that right here that's who we are that's what we are focusing on or tapping into as these regulators of quantum solar algorithms that's what we're tapped into that's what and the solar algorithms is really the solar intel it's for the many many um variations of of codes of solar intel 1011 or these variations of codes that come down here and we process it we process it we scan it but that's why i'm always saying we are using mental mas it's called mental air sweeping again mental air sweeping which we are scanning the atmosphere that's what we're doing if people can't understand that omnistand that then yeah they, they, you don't get the point of being a receiver and a transmitter because all we're doing is where we're pulling in these codes these quantum quantum codes from beyond the sun from the sun and from and from beyond the sun evolutionary codes to set us forward to you know set our course into the fourth dimension um you know that's what's happening every single day when we are out there, you know, exposing our vessels into to the sun, to all the solar intel that's coming down here, all the radiation. That, that's what it's saying, you know, where we as people are kissed by the sun or kissed by the multiple uh, variations of energy that come down here, down to the surface of the planet. We can mediate or again we can tap into 
all types of energies as these mediums or these mediators. We act as these loudspeakers because not everybody can tap in. That's why there's, there's a select few, a select few, not giving any numbers, but a select few that can do this, that can channel, that can regulate, that can regulate the quantum solar algorithms, that can regulate the, the quantum solar algorithms that come down here. That's why there's a lot of what you say in Intel agencies out here because they all, because Intel is what matters. The quantum solar algorithms are what matter. The quantum solar algorithms are what matter. Knowing how, knowing, knowing and understanding or understanding what you are receiving and being able to connect the dots, you know, connect the synchronicities of what you're seeing, you know, how you can apply that to your life, you know, everything, all the instructions are coming to the to the ones of the of the true activated ones and we're being instructed on what to do. Our higher selves are telling are telling us what we need to do to, you know, get into alignment. You know, we're reassuring ourselves. Our higher selves are reassuring us that we are on the right path by being able to regulate the quantum solar algorithms. This is not a learned, well, it's a a learned ability. It's not taught. This is a learned ability, not taught. It just happens. One day you just begin, you know, you, you get activated and then you have all of these ideas and floods of of downloads coming to your your, your mind fields nonstop. Sometimes it can be seen as you know over, overwhelming. But it's not because that's what happens. That's what's happening to us as these multi processing units of Intel energy. Well, this goes on and on, but we can process multiple forms of energy um, as these real time receivers and transmitters. So that's what we're looking at. That's what we're tapping into. That's what we have been, you know, working on or by way of. You know, casting our voices, casting our energies and frequencies through the, through the airways, through space and time. Because we as these real-time receivers or these regulators of quantum solar algorithms, we know that there is so much to learn and tap into. That we're not focused on history. That we're not focused on the things that are still being recirculated down in the third dimension as next level, as intelligence. We're focused on the main source, the direct source, the direct current. Ourselves, the suns and the stars that lie outside of the third dimension, that lie outside the earthly dimensions. That's what we're in tune with. That's what we're tapped into. That's why we are regulators of quantum solar algorithms. That's why we are regulators of quantum solar algorithms. And with that being said, this message is brought to you by our higher selves, set in the fourth dimension, UNONC, the next nuclear radio show. Um, with that being said, again, one more time, this topic is brought to you by our higher selves, set in the fourth dimension as multidimensional beings, UNONC, the next nuclear radio show. Um, and thank you for coming here and listening to this uh, this podcast. This is Next Nuclear Radio Show. I am your host, Zirayas Razus, our nuclear leader of UNONC. Again, this is the Next Nuclear Radio Show. I am your host, Zirayas Razus, our nuclear leader of UNONC. One more time for the ones that can hear us in the background. This is the Next Nuclear Radio Show. I am your host, Zirayas Razus, our nuclear leader of the United Nations and Next Nuclear. Today's topic was regulators of quantum solar algorithms. Again, regulators of quantum solar algorithms. With that being said, peace, power, and soul. Until next time, know who you are. We are regulators of quantum solar algorithms. We are these real-time receivers and transmitters, seeing, understanding, and hearing multidimensionally. Peace, power, and soul.